You want to be in shape, you're short on time, and you like variety. I'm the Body Smith. Stay tuned for some cross training activities. Cross training adds interest to your workout, keeps you motivated, and can reduce risk of injury. I'd like to introduce you today to Lindsay, who at the time of this recording is new to Portland, and she has experience as personal trainer. So come on in, Lindsay. All right. Lindsay and I will be showing you some activities that will help pump you up and get you going. What do you say, shall we do it? Let's do it. All right, let's breathe in, exhale out. One more time, breathe in, exhale out. We're gonna reach up to the ceiling, reach and extend. Yeah, this is a way of introducing Lindsay to Portland. She's only been here for a few months and reach across and she was telling me prior to the cameras rolling, that she's already gotten her car broken into. That's no introduction to a new area. Shame on whoever did that. All right, now circle back. And Lindsay is also a fitness instructor and is a regional coordinator for a large gym chain for fitness, group fitness. Now reach it out, reach and extend. That's how we met. All right, keep going. And since she is a personal trainer, she's gonna help us out today with some exercises. Let's do some bicep curls. Like to keep this first part really simple. We're just gonna limber up and get ready for the main body of the workout. Hamstring curls, alternating. Let's give it four more on each side. And I think we'll keep the legs going. Let's take the arms, reach to the side, reach and extend. Warming up, limbering up. Let's go for four more on each side. Now, legs apart, same arms, push it up. Give it four more each side. Shoulder level, push it out. You're gonna start to activate that upper back area. Good, squeezing those weights together as you come back. Now push down both arms, elbows high. I like this next song, Stronger. It just kind of defines what we're going to be doing today. Bend the knees to a lunge, side to side. I'm feeling kind of warm here. It's working. Let's take one arm across, pull back. I better be careful there. I do not want to hit Lindsay with my elbow. We're kind of in here close. All right, up and over. Reach and extend, bend that knee. Good. As we're going lower, low to high. Two more. Circle that arm back, big circle. This kind of reminds me of using a rope for a lasso. I've never actually done that myself. Now the other side reach across. Pull back. Now I've got to watch out for flying elbows. And reach up and over. Four more. 
All right, we're gonna reverse that arm, circle back, big circle. Oh, it's like we're pulling it through a thick substance. Four more. All right, shake it out. Let's march in place. When we talk about cross training, that means we need to throw in a variety of activities. Cardio, a little bit of weight work, core activity. Let's start with the knee lift up, lift, lift. This will be our cardio segment. I am purposely keeping this low impact because you can get a great workout doing low impact. Low impact does not mean low intensity. Two, one, knees outside and pull, pull, good. Kind of lean into that opposite side and work the core. Three, two, and shake it out. Breathe in, exhale out. What do you say we come back here and pick up a set of weights? Okay, weights. Are you ready? Good, let's do a bicep curl hammer up to the shoulders. Elbows staying tight just to get used to the feel of those weights. Three more. And one more. Now, put the legs together, sit back, push forward. Pull back. As you pull back, you're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades together. Perfect. So we're starting to work the lower body along with the upper body. The deltoids, shoulder area, upper back, even a little bit into the pectorals. Now let's reach down, pull up. You're pulling up your knee socks. Does anybody wear knee socks anymore? I think I have a pair of them in a drawer somewhere. Now slow it down, press forward. Shoulder level, and remember, the shoulders actually where they attach. You want to make sure that you don't reach too far up because we want to avoid any possibility of injury. The shoulders actually attach a few inches below the top of the shoulder area where we consider our shoulders. Now pick up the tempo, reach down, pull up. Remember to keep the knees over the ankle. It's like you're sitting back into a chair without using your arms. Third set, reach forward. Pull back. All right, now reach down, pull up. A little faster tempo here. Four more. Lateral raises. Out and down. Purposely keeping these kind of slow. Very good. Four more. So much easier to control and get the benefit. Keeping control of that weight. One more. All right, for now, let's just put the weights out of the way where you won't step on them. Lindsay, would you like to show us a body weight exercise? You don't even need any weights or anything. Just give us your best. I would. So this is called a Romanian deadlift, and it's essentially just a hip hinge, and you're using your hamstrings to pull yourself up. I think I'll have you show me. And you just hinge forward, squeeze that booty and those hamstrings, and stand all the way up. Coming down, and all the way up. So Romanian deadlift? Yes. I love it. Now, if you want to make it a little bit harder. Uh-oh, a little bit harder. Working on those abs, working on that balance, we're going to take one leg up. So, same thing, you're hinging, right? 
Yeah, we're working on balance. <laughs> Take a spot on the floor, about four feet ahead of you. Whoa. There you go. Focus on that. Should we try the other side? Let's try the other side. We want to be balanced. All right. Remember, keep those hips pointing towards the floor at all times. You want them to be squared. You want the shoulders to be squared. And it doesn't matter how far your leg goes up. As long as those hips stay square. The song kind of says it all. It's hard, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard. It is hard. Good. All right. All right, thank you very much. Welcome. I'll tell you what, let's get the uh, one of these. So we got a ball here, and it doesn't weigh very much, but you have to remember the arms do weigh something. So we're gonna get some benefit for the upper and even partially the lower body by using this. Let's take that ball reach across and switch sides to the other side. Pull those shoulder blades together as you pull back. So when I've used these in group fitness classes, sometimes they go flying off to the side, lose that grip. And if that happens, just make sure before you go running after it, you realize that there might be obstacles in the way that you don't want to trip over. It's okay if the ball goes away. You just want to be safe in retrieving it. All right, now we're going bowling. So we're taking it low, pull back. Um, we've been using this exercise quite a lot on this program. And there have been times when we do a show without it People actually write to me by email and say, we didn't do bowling on Wednesday's program. So you're aiming right between that one and two pin. Let's circle back, big circle. Whoa. Again, bending the elbow, pulling through the upper back, and turning the shoulders. So your shoulders to the side and then squaring to the front. Let's do a couple more here. And we've got a bowl on the other side now. So let's switch sides, let's go. Bowling. 180 degrees, range of motion. So just about to shoulder level. And remember we said shoulders are, the joint actually connects a little lower than the top of the shoulder. I learned that at a workshop I went to. Circle back. It was called body mapping. Body mapping, what's that? Well, they were telling us how the joints connected and how they interacted. It's very interesting. Let's take it to the center. Let's go side, side, side. So you're turning the shoulders, you're bending the knees. So the hips don't move, the hips don't lie. Let's work it up. All right, pull in those abdominals. Not so tight that you can't breathe. We're getting some core work here. We'll see if we can work in a little core work later in the program too. In fact, Lindsay, let's work it down. That's gonna be your cue. I think you got a good core exercise for us. All right, let's, I'll take your ball. Show us your core exercise. So, you can start here with your knee on the ground and just extend that other leg. <laughs> there we go. I think I got it. Arm up. Now, you can also bring the other leg out and stagger those legs. Oh, yes. Other leg out. The hardest version is to stack the feet and hold yourself up here. Move. Go reach under and open. And open. Reach under and open. And be careful. Be careful if you're on a slick floor, you can slide. 
We better do the other side. All right. So, try to do what you did on the first side, on this side. Uh. Reach under. 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 And over. Good. And over. Last one. All right. We did it. The benefits, of, the benefits of having a professional personal trainer on staff. Now that we've done that, let's start marching again. And let's get a little more kind of cardio-esque type movement. This one, we're gonna lift the knee, step, step back, lift the knee, step, step back. Like you're stepping into a limousine. Here we go. Step up, step back, back up, back, back up. You're stepping into that limo and then thinking, oh no, I don't want to go after all. Wait a minute, why wouldn't you want to go on the limo? Now, same thing, but we're gonna extend that leg back. Whoa, extend that leg back. Squeeze the glutes. Yes, when we use the large muscle groups in the body, that's one of the best ways to increase your cardio output. Four more. Two. And one. All right. March it out. Breathe in. <sighs> Exhale out. Let's do one more. And exhale out. Now we're gonna do some single lunges. Here we go. You're gonna turn that hip to the side. Something about this song says lunges. I don't know why. Keep reach it up. A little bit wider. Now we are gonna transition from this one seamlessly, I hope, into a rear lunge. Here we go. Tap back. Tap back. Good job, Lindsay. Half time. Slow it down. Big steps. Whoa. You're short, you're tall. Short, you're tall. Squat to the side, to the other side. I'm so used to just pointing. It works. Let's do four more of these on each side. One more. And the other side, Lindsay. I think we were talking about push-ups. Oh, we were. Uh, yeah, let's do some push-ups. Okay, let's do some push-ups. So remember, before we even get down, push-ups happen in your chest, not your shoulders. You don't have enough muscles down here. So right in line, if it's the center of your chest. All right? Now, when you come down, you can stay on your knees, just like this, right? So. You don't want your booty up here. You're under this, because remember, our muscles are in our chest. So bring those hips with you. You can also, you like Larry, nice and strong. Come up on your toes, and you just come down as far as you can, and exhale as you push up. Keep those abs in tight, exhale. Inhale on the way down, exhale. Don't drop that chin, good. Let's do two more. Push. Use those abs. Excellent. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, speaking of working the chest, let's use some of the exercise tubing. We'll get to the chest a little later. We do want to give it a break for now. But let's do some more that will benefit the shoulders and the upper back. So you're gonna have maybe six to eight inches in between your fingers. Don't let go whatever you do. 
because if you do, it might snap back and hit you. So we're gonna pull, pull real strong. Oh, I feel those push-ups. And the whole idea here, you're gonna take it about armpit level is where the tubing will come across. These tubing exercises are getting very popular. You can get the tubing in just about any sporting store. It's not very expensive. All right, let's go four more on this. And carefully release. Now it's gonna be like you're putting on your overcoat over the head and put it, the tubing under your arms. I'll give you a, a view here. So it's right under your arms. And then put enough tension on it that when you push forward and cross, you feel the chest. Let's go. Open, close, open, And if you're new to this exercise and you are using the tubing, you might have to just kind of play around and adjust the tension on the tube until you feel it working. And also, if you don't have the tubing or any of the other equipment we've been using, it still will be beneficial to follow along and you're just working with resistance like you're pushing and pulling through a thick substance. Let's do a couple more here. I think we're running just really close to our time limit. Let's bring it down. So let's do another one. We didn't really get the biceps very well. So you want to step down, center right here, the knees bent. Don't lift that toe. Now pull up for the bicep curl. And depending on your strength and the strength of the tubing you are using, you might need to make adjustments. Like maybe if you're real strong and the tubing isn't, you can double foot it. It's always okay to do that. Or if the tubing that you're using is really, really strong, you don't have to come all the way back like I am. Just do the best you can. Good. I find some of these workouts where we're doing cross training and kind of circuit activities, I sweat more than when I'm doing straight cardio. Unless it is in Lindsay's indoor cycle class. That one, I sweat a lot. Two more, and then we get to cool down and stretch. All right, be very careful as you take it out from under and I'll take that. Unfortunately, this is my habit of how I clean house. It's clean. All right, let's take the legs apart, pull in the abdominals, take a big deep breath in. Posture is very important when you're working out and especially when you're stretching and cooling down. Breathe in great opportunity to develop those good habits and reach up across one side. I, I didn't know it, but I have a tendency to kind of stoop forward, if I, especially if I'm tired, but people have brought that to my attention and so now I'm conscious of it. I can do things to correct that. And now the other side, so I don't turn into my grandpa who used to, he always was stoop forward. And he was probably younger than I was at the time, younger than I am now. All right, let's take the arms back. You're gonna reach, I'll show you, reach above the wrist, push up, and open the chest. Everybody see that? You're pulling the shoulders back. And push forward. Open that upper back and the shoulders. Yeah, cross training is just so great. It's a definition of cross training is just doing all sorts of different activities for balance and variety. It's better for the body. It's better to keep our interest. 
and reach it down. Now take the legs apart. The knee is over the ankle on one side. You're gonna stretch the inner thigh and the groin. And Lindsay and I both are practitioners of cross training in our personal workouts. I do a lot of bike riding, different kinds of classes, weight training. Let's reach around and reach behind. A good way to get a good stretch throughout the back. And the core. We did a lot of those sneaky core exercises today that you may not realize you're working the core, but you're getting a core workout. Let's go to the other side while we're here. Start with the inner thigh. Just let your body weight bring you down. Now, if your knee is so far over your ankle that you can't see your foot, you know you need to widen it out a little bit. Good, good. Now take the arm behind, reach to the hip. Look up and over the shoulder. This kind of looks cool anyway, this pose. It reminds me of that, is it Roman or Greek statue, the discus thrower? And bring it back to the center. Breathe in. We're gonna do a runner's lunge. So start with knees over the ankle, slide the leg back, tighten the gluteus maximus, bend the back knee. At the same time, you're pressing the heel toward the floor. I tried to throw a discus once, it didn't go well. <laughs> and bring it in, halfway. Now you're gonna hinge forward over that front leg just bend at the hip, keep the upper body elevated, and raise the toe. Flex that foot back. I remember in high school, I had some friends, girls that were on the track team that did the discus. Let's bring it back. And runner's lunge. They even named the discus. They called it Myra. They would always say, I'm going out to throw Myra. Poor Myra. <laughs> All right. Step about halfway in. Lean it out forward. Over that leg. The knees bent. Good stretch. All right. Bring it in, breathe in. And I want to thank you for being with us. And thank you to Lindsay for helping out with some of our exercises. Hope to see you again on another Body Smith workout. Now let's play ball.